I'm gonna try to, yep, that works, okay. Whew, okay. Hello, my name's Hallie Sexton. I'm from North Platte High. Choo-choo. And this poem is called Love. From the day we were born till the day we die, we are told we need love. It's looked upon as essential, just like the things you learn about in science class. All the key aspects to survival are supposedly these three things, water, shelter, and food. They're needed for any zombie apocalypse, World War III survival scenarios, but shouldn't love be considered essential too? As a young girl, I've always wished for love, or maybe it was just attention. I only wished for the things I wasn't receiving. There was never enough time for the oldest in a family with four children and divorced parents. After a full time and fighting behind the locked doors, there was never enough. I learned young that no one could ever truly be there for me. There was never enough minutes in a day to ask how I was doing. As a young girl, I slowly fell into the depression I would carry for the rest of my life. As a young girl turning into a woman, love starts to feel different. It becomes something you have to work for, something you have to achieve. Love becomes a prize, giving to only the ones that deserve it, to only the ones that were molded by the hands of God into beautiful heavenly angels that happened to be the lucky one shot by Cupid's arrow. I'm not them though. I wasn't molded by the hands of God into a stunning angel. And society doesn't help, it only makes it worse giving you advice on how to achieve it, not telling you if you may work or not, only about how much more you need it. Magazines forcing you into a love that you don't have, don't want, showing you who to love, how, if you're good at it, proving that you could be wrong. Because somehow the stars alignment tell you how you should feel, which people you are compatible with, and who you are as a person. If supposedly I'm a sexy, mysterious Scorpio, then why do I test out as a loyal and helpful Capricorn on every quiz I take? I've never been what you call successful with love. I've tried, oh, I've tried, trust me. Truth is, I just fall for all the jerks. The ones that play with your mind like a Rubik's Cube. The ones who care about the sex, not the soul. But none of that ever gets to me. I still care, I still love. I put my heart in their hands and can't help but smile when they crush it, leaving me broken on the ground again. What if I think, I could have been more charming. I should have said that. If only time would allow me to go back and erase all the mistakes of my past, as if my life were a book and I was just editing. But those typos, they're written down in black Sharpie. They're permanent. I can't change them, leaving me to constantly hold that burden upon myself of not being good enough for anyone else, not even myself. I've questioned love. What is it? A myth we all dream about, wish upon a glowing ball of light for, something we get our hearts broken for. Love is not a gift, it's a goal. And I know that sometimes I'm going to miss, mess up, totally strike out, but say once I didn't. Say I hit a home run with a brown haired boy with warm seat salt water eyes, with words that make my heart skip a beat. Trust me, I've tried to keep you away. I even made sure I put up a wall because I was too afraid of getting hurt again. Too afraid that you were just like everyone else. Too afraid that you'd leave me, afraid. But you just came through and took it down brick by brick by brick. I didn't complain. I've fallen in love with everything about you and I don't question love anymore. I know exactly what it is now. Love is the way I can't stop staring into those beautiful blue eyes of yours. Love is the way I can't help but laugh at all of your cheesy jokes. Love is the way I can't bear to hang up with the fear of hearing anything else but your voice. Love is the way that you continually make me a better, happier person. Love is you, love is me, Love is us. I don't feel like I've won a trophy. I haven't got put up on a pedestal because that's not what love is. That's just what people think of it. That's what people expect of it. Love is said to be an emotion, but love is not just an emotion. Love is a connection, a connection between anyone no matter their race or sexuality. Love is love and we should respect it. <laughs>